And finally, we're going to finish this basic stitch lesson with the detached chain. And basically, this is doing the last stitch of your chain stitch over and over separately from each other. And these are great for creating little flower petals or embellishments on your embroidery. You're going to start coming up through the fabric. And then right back down into the same place. And then depending on which way you want your detached chain to face, you're going to position your loop here. So I could have it going to the right, could have it going up, could have it really going anywhere around from where this origin point is here. So I'm going to say I want mine to face down. So I come up at the top of where I want my detached chain to begin, and then I'll come up underneath that, making sure I go through the loop, and I'm gonna pull through to create my single chain. I'm gonna pull it tight, but not too tight. And I'm going to finish this detached chain by going right to the outside of where that loop ends. And this keeps it in place and makes sure it does not move around. So there you go, that is a detached chain. I'm gonna do it a few more times. Come up, down in the same place. Gonna hold that loop at the bottom. Up in the middle of your loop. Pull it tight. Down on the outside of your loop. And then right here I'll show you maybe what it would look like if you did a little flower with your detached chain. So I would use my center as these little pivot points here. And we'll do five petal flowers. So this will be five detached chains. I know it's a green flower, but it doesn't matter what color you use. Coming up through that loop and pull it the way you want that loop to lay. And then you're going to finish it going just outside of that loop. I'll come back up right near where the base of that other detached chain is, down in the same spot. Next petal will come up over here, pull it the way I want it to go, and back down. The chain stitch also has a really nice texture, which is fun. These little loops create a nice pattern when you're doing embroidery projects. Down on the outside. Okay, then I'm going to do two more little petals here with detached chain. Back down in the same spot. Back up through the center. You can see here I'm adjusting some of the petal sizes. You can make detached chain as long or as short as you want it. That's the fun part. Up, down in the same spot. See, you can see here it's sort of tangling. I'm just going to flip that to be laying the way I want it to. Up through the middle. Pull tight. And finish that off. And you just tie this one off on the back using the same method we had before. And you'll end up getting really fast at this by the time you're finished this lesson. Okay, tie that up. Give it a little snip. And here we go. We have our little examples of stem stitch, split stitch, chain stitch, and detached chain. 
And I just recommend practicing these as much as possible until you feel comfortable doing all these stitches alone. And then you can put them into your designs. I hope you had fun on this course and go practice your basic stitches. Thank you so much for coming along on your four basic stitch embroidery journey. I hope you had a fun time learning and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm always there to help you figure out your way. Stay positive and keep practicing and before you know it, you'll have a full piece of embroidery to show off to all of your friends and family. To find me, you can go to my website, gabriellejolie.com, where you'll see all of my other products, including PDF guides and classes for more embroidery projects. And you can also reach out to me on social media at gabriellejolieart to keep up with what I'm doing.